Hello everyone. Myself, I am Uma, and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone. Welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we will learn about related and lookup value function with scenarios. Okay. Now. I have taken two tables here, employee table and training table. Let me walk through on this. So in employee table, you have the employee information, their IDs, manager IDs, employee names, status, gender, hire day, department and job grade. OK, and there is one more table called training table in which we do have the start date, course code, what is the course they have taken and employee ID, cost and supplier. If you observe both the tables, the common column is employee ID and even in the training table also you have employee ID. Now let's use the related function and now in this training table, I want to get the employee names. OK, because I do have the course information, but not the employee name, right? If I want to see the employee name here, only employee ID I have now with this employee ID again, I have to go to the employee table and I need to check which employee is that OK? So directly if I have to see the employee name in this training table, what can I do? OK, now both the tables, there is a common column ID that is employee ID. OK, I will do this mapping employee ID to employee ID. I'll do the mapping. It's a one to many mapping. Why? Because one employee from an employee table can do multiple trainings. OK, so that is why it is one to many. Since I have created the relationship, now these two tables are related tables. Now I can use the function called related function. Using this related function in the training table, I will get the employee name as well. I only have an ID, but not the name. Every time I can't go and check from the employee table. So here itself, I want the employee name in course training table. So I'll try to get it. Okay. Now, since there is a relation between these two tables, I am using the related function. So how to get that employee name? Just go to this training table and try to create a new column. Column only you wanted, right? So I will use employee name. So now you are getting this employee name using related function. OK, so that's why I'm giving this column name as related equal to the function which we will use now is related function. OK, so when I use this function automatically, it is telling return a returns a related value from another table. So what is the name I wanted? Which column I wanted? I wanted the employee name column, so I'm choosing this. OK, just to remember one thing related function will work only when these two tables are related. I have done that relation in this data modeling, right? I have mapped employee and training table. That is why I'm able to use the related function. So what uh, column I wanted from employee table? I wanted the employee name. So directly I used related function and I am giving employee table of employee name. And now I'll click on enter. Can you see here? As soon as I created this, can you see this under the training table? There is a calculated column employee name. Let's see that data now. OK, now we got the employee names. Let's cross verify this employee ID 21. We got Gregory Alderson. Let's see whether this is correct or not. Employee ID 21. How to cross verify? Let's do the testing as well for 21 employee ID, I have to see this name in the employee table as well. So let's go to the employee table. This is the employee table. Now I look for. Employee ID 21. OK, so if you see the employee name, he is Gregory Alderson. So we got this. OK, now I'll try to. Clear filters. OK, now we got this. This is the first scenario when related tables are there. When you want to get the specific column, you are using related function. 
Now, what is this lookup value function also we will see. Okay. Now, for the scenario to what I am doing, I am deleting the relationship. I am deleting this relationship. Okay. Let's assume that now we don't have any relationship between these two tables. There is no relationship between these two tables. Now, how to get that value? Now, there is no relationship between employee table and training table. I have deleted it, but now in the same example, I, in the training table, I want to get the employee name, which is there in the employee table. How to get it? Okay, for that, I will create one column now. See, as soon as I deleted the relation, right? As soon as I deleted the relation, now you can see the error for the employee name. You can see this. See, you are seeing the error. Why? Because this related will only work if the two tables are having relation. Since I deleted the relation, you are seeing the error. Okay. So now let's remove this one. Now the same employee name I will try to create without a relationship. Even without relationship, how we will get, we will see now. For that, in the training table, I am going to create one new column. That is, I want the employee name. So I am writing here employee name. Now I will get this using lookup value function. Okay. So this is the syntax use lookup value function. So what I wanted to get into this training table, I wanted to get the employee name. So I'm selecting employee name. So how to search for this column employee name based on the employee ID, right? So I'll take this employee table employee ID. And search value for which for which values you are searching for the employee name from this training table employee ID, right? So I'm giving here training table of employee ID. Now I'll close this and I'll click on enter. Are you seeing now? There is one new column created, which is employee name lookup value. Now let's go here. If you see the same thing we have achieved, right? Using the lookup value function, same employee ID 21. If you see Gregory Alderson, similarly for all the employee IDs we got. Let's cross verify another uh, employee names. Let's take uh, employee ID 7. 7 is Margaret Smith. Let's cross verify this employee ID 7. Let's go for the employee table. Let's take the employee ID as 7 and let's check it. Okay, so you got this Margaret Smith. He is the employee name. The same thing we have got right in the training table. So this is how you can get a column when there is no relation also. If there is a relation, you can use the related function and you can get the related column from the related table. If there is no relation between two tables and still if you want to get a column from that table, you can use this lookup value function. Now, this lookup value now we have used as a calculated column, right? In the column we have used and we got this. Now, Instead of using as a column, I can also use this as a measure. OK, now how to use as a measure? We will see. I'll try to create one in this training table only. I'll try to create one new measure. That is. I want to get employee name. Now this is. Lookup measure. OK, so how to use the lookup function? Same value, same lookup value function. What I wanted to get, I want to get the employee name based on how it is searching the column in the employee table. It is searching based on the employee ID. Now for which employee I want the name. Let's take employee ID 7. I wanted for the employee ID 7. So I will give enter. OK, now if I drag and drop a card. And in this card, if I drag and drop this measure, which I have created, I will get Margaret Smith. Who is this Margaret Smith? I have passed the employee ID as seven. 
the seven is margaret smith if not you can cross check in the table also employee table if you see the employee id seven he is margaret smith okay so this is how you can use related function and the lookup value function thank you all thanks for watching this for more informative videos please do like share and subscribe to ksr data vision youtube channel thank you